Hi YouTubers, it's me again, Crystal. <clears throat> Second review, uh, well third, uh, whatever you want to consider. <clears throat> Oh, excuse me. Uh, so, um, doing the Neutri the Neutrogena and CoverGirl review. Uh, actually, it's more products to its CoverGirl, uh, Neutrogena, and Physician's Formula again. Um, so, I'm kind of gonna take you into like my basic um, everyday um, routine of putting on my makeup and. Um, you know some criticisms and likes well actually no criticism because i use it obviously so it's going to be likes um so i get up i wash my face with the uh, neutrogena daily cleanser uh must have you must have that because uh neutrogena in my opinion is probably the best in the united states um so you know dry my face and i put my primer now my primer is not from Revlon. My primer is not from All May, even though All May is a very good primer. That is one of the primers that I use, but it's also ten, close to eleven dollars. So when it's in my budget, I buy it. When it's not, I have another one. And you know, my primer is not from um, CoverGirl. My primer is not from Maybelline. Uh, you know, any drug store. Um, it is a drugstore, um, surprisingly cheap. Um, my primer, which I have in my hand and I'm looking at it, is by, guess what? Elf. It is by Elf. Eyes, lips, and face. Elf. And I use this one. I use the blue one, Hydrating Face Primer. It is $6. $6. Of all the primers that I have uh, found, this is my favorite for $6, surprisingly. And it works for me. Not going to work for everybody because everybody's skin different. This works for me. Love it. So I put my primer on. And then I put my, um, I put my concealer on, which is uh, the stick concealer. And also by Wet n Wild. And... NYC. I actually use a combination to cover here, here, um, and some other places. Um, you know, most especially under the eyes because I do have severe purple. Uh, you know, under, under, under eye. So you know, the halfway human. I use that, and those run about. Um, the Wet n Wild one is like $1.99 and New York is like $1.50, depending on where you go. Also, it could be $1.99. So I put my concealer on and then I get my Neutrogena Healthy Skin Enhancer with Sunscreen SPF 20. And this is actually very good. And I use the um, Light to Neutral 30. That's the one that I use. And this is sunscreen. So... I have my primer, I have my concealer, and then I put this on. And um, it takes about one and a half to two um, pumps. I use about two uh, for summer. I hate summer, and I don't want to get the spots, but I, eventually I will because everything goes when you get older. <laughs> you know, everything goes. Things sag. Wrinkles deepen, pores deep, deepen, and actually, you know what? Again, my primer, very good at hiding the pores. Um, but then again, I kind of have good pores, so. So yeah, I use I, I use this, and this is very, very good. It has a sheer tint. Uh, very good. Love it. And it goes on so smooth, so smoothly. It's like silk. Very good. Good job, Neutrogena. And then... I put on my foundation and my foundation is from let's see <gasps> covergirl m4 true blend this is good and it's about a medium consistency when you pump it again I use about two pumps one and a half to two um it's very good it's very good dirty because I use it but um very very good and um 
it's not quick to dry it's gonna take a little bit not a lot of time but it will dry um, and it's very blendable very mixable um, actually my friend Ashley mixes this and um, a little bit of the M2 because uh, she has combination skin I do too but not drastically um, actually in fact you know I'm thinking well maybe I need to go to M4 because something tells me this is just a tad darker actually I think I can do the M4 or M3 uh, personally um, so you know but this is very good use it get it um, very very good medium coverage you know good so I got my primer, got my concealer, got my sheer tint by Neutrogena. I got my uh, CoverGirl True Blend. And when I get done and it's about halfway dry, uh, I use, again, wipe that off. I use this compact Neutrogena Healthy Skin Compact Makeup SPF 55. I use a little bit of this because, and I don't have my sponge. I don't like the sponge that it comes with. Oh wait, yes I do. It's black actually. Uh, I had to throw it away because I had used it so much and I, I washed it but it still smelled funky. So I, I threw it away. Uh, and I have another one but it just won't fit in here. So yeah, so sorry for that mistake. Mm. Uh, it's actually Physician's Formula uh, thing, uh, sponge that I don't like. So uh, this is, in fact, this is the um, natural beige. If I use Neutrogena foundation, I am a natural beige, and the uh, M4 is sand beige, but guess what? They are the same shade, so if you're, if you're this shade, and you want to switch to Neutrogena, and you want to find it, then you are natural beige, and it's uh, natural beige 60. So anyway, so I have my sponge, and I have, you know, and I'm over here mixing it, and it mixes wonderful, wonderfully, beautifully, um, you know, to you know mix it up and also to add a little bit more of the sunscreen um, and you know to blend it and makes it even lighter and actually CoverGirl Neutrogena mixed together makes pretty damn good foundation surprisingly um, so you know and so I do that and then of course it's dry and actually it helps it dry it a little a little faster because it is a medium consistency and then, you know, a lot of people say that with this, you don't need to put powder to set your makeup. I do. I still use it because of my combination skin, uh, which is very light, but it's still there and it bothers me. And I actually use two powders on my face. I, first powder I put on, and it's not a lot, and it's by Physician's Formula. This one, of course, it's used. And it is translucent. Translucent. I'm sorry, I just can't pronounce that. And so I get my brush and I do a little here. You know, I do it all under my face. Uh, very, very light. I do that. And then I get my other powder. And my other powder is by Healthy Skin Blends. Again, Neutrogena. Translucent Oil Controlling Powder. Because I do have an oil problem and I did not used to on my nose on my nose right here around this area not so much right here and not so much right here but it is on the T area that's where I have my problem the nose I don't know why I don't know why and let me open this it opens up like this that's what it looks like and it comes with a little brush now the brush I like to use to do my powder uh, when I go to do this it won't come up it won't so I have to get this a surprisingly cheap looking brush and you know get the powder loose and then use the other one to quickly <laughs> you know um, put it on because it, you know when you drop this odds are it's not going to come loose uh, it's going to stay in the little you know compressed area which is good but it's also you got to fight a little bit with it depending on what brush you like uh, this one you drop it your powders everywhere so keep that in mind but this is good oil controlling powder this is very very good I recommend this highly especially with combination skin uh, oily skin it does absorb it and it makes you use 
sorry, make sure you use your blotting sheets, which I also use, and it's by e.l.f. for a dollar, 50 sheets for a dollar. Uh, it's very good. Um, it makes you use less. I used to use about two to three. I only use one now because of these powders. Now, the reason why I don't use all this and just use this on my face is because the oil will make it kind of blotchy so that's why I don't use it heavily on my face but just because you know of my skin type that makes it do that does not mean it's not a does not mean that it's not a good product because it is if you have regular skin get this try it I guarantee you'll like it and this was about tw uh, 11 something so twelve dollars ten something so eleven dollars eleven to twelve dollars the compact ten something to eleven dollars eight something to nine dollars and as you know six dollars so there you have the prices and then of course so my powders on and I put my blush I have tried all kinds of blushes. Um, they're fine. They're good, actually. But my favorite so far, and if I find something new, of course, I'll let you know. It's, again, by Physician's Formula. And it's um, it's a Happy Boosters uh, Glow and Mood Boosting Blush Natural. It's pink. And it came with this cheap little brush. Again, don't like it, but it comes with a mirror. That's what I like about uh, Physician's Formula. It comes with a mirror. It does. I love that. You know, even this has a mirror. Love it. Love it. I, I know, and uh, Neutrogena obviously comes with a mirror. Uh, this did not. But anyway, I like this because it... I can't overdo blush with this and I do I tend to overdo my blush because you know I have glasses I don't like contacts um, so you know I can't really overdo with this like I have in the past I look like Miss Piggy with too much rouge but yeah I like it because it's it's again as it says natural and you know it's it's nice it gives me that you know that natural look um, and you know, of course, I love that. And I don't have that much pink right here anyway. So I, you absolutely need to wear blush with your foundation. You have to have blush. So yes, this is very good. So you know, I have all this. And of course, while I'm doing the powder, I have thick eyebrows, as you can see, even though they're shaped beautifully. I get them threaded. Don't be afraid to try threading. You need to try it. It's wonderful. I prefer it to waxing. I hate waxing. I'll cry like a baby. So, you know, I have powder up here, so, you know, I get a little Q-tip and kind of wet it and get it off, and it does, it just it comes right off. And, of course, I put my mascara, and you know my mascaras that I use, or some of them. And, of course, and I put my uh, lipstick, whatever I'm going to wear. Uh, right now, I'm just wearing um, sheer pink tinted uh, lip gloss like this. makes me kissable well anyway uh, so this is just what I'm wearing um, I put this on first the baby lips cuz I know there's some girls who just love the baby lips and I'm one of them I have everything they came out with you know love baby lips and it's by Maybelline so you know I put that on and then again I have something from wet n wild it's called in a tutu but my baby lips and then I put this on for extra sparkle sheer tinted pink um or i'll put my uh lipstick so you know that's just me um you know if i'm just gonna hang around the house or you know just go that's just what i do you know i have to i have to stick to this regiment because you know this is over the years what i found and um this is what works for me it makes me look human <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, halfway attractive to some man. <laughs> so anyway, um, 
try any of these products that I uh, I use because they are very good and they work for me you know if they don't work for you that's fine because your skin's not gonna be like mine we're not all alike you know goddess and God made us different for a reason but yeah I I recommend um, these two physicians formula and Neutrogena a little bit more than I would a cover girl but do not not cover girl my mom has been a cover girl for a long time and with her skin this works for her this does it all depends on your skin you know whether you can wear um, the drugstore makeup like an expensive makeup because she looks like she's wearing bare minimum minerals with this and this cover girl you know so try 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 experiment 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 because it's gonna save you money in the long run so anyway, that's my, you know, my makeup routine, prices, and a little bit more. So see you later, YouTubers. Bless be. Have a nice day. See you later. Bye.